beginning for El Maito at the back. Quick start in the center for Knockout Ranger, who springs out to take the early lead from the rail. Twice on Sunday, moves to be second. Joining the party outside is Baltic. He's in the third, now into second. Then it's Forrest Waltz in between horses. Goes Legacy Azteca, followed by Time is Everything. Racing third last, Leverkusen. Second last is Gunavera. And after blowing the start, El Maito is the trailer. They run around the far turn in Cornelio Velasquez and Knockout Ranger lead it a half a length. Baltic is asked to quicken by Carabao racing in second, three wide. Here's Legacy Azteca in with an upset possibility. He circles up on the outside. Twice on Sunday is next, followed by Time is Everything and Forrest Waltz, then Gunavera as they run past the quarter mile pole. 23 and 1 for the opening quarter and one shot. Legacy Azteca comes off the turn with a two length lead. Baltic is there, second down the outside, Gunavera up the inside, knockout Ranger. Final furlong, Gunavera's getting on track, trying to get to Legacy Azteca. Legacy Azteca, the strides are shortening. Gunavera surging at the leader. Gunavera's got him. Gunavera is up to win it. Second, Legacy Azteca, then knockout Ranger and Baltic in 59 and 2. Recruiting Ready is the leader. Recruiting Ready in front. Gunavera has made progress on the outside from last into second, but Recruiting Ready has kicked away to a four-length lead here. Gunavera is trying to cut into that gap in second, passing the 16th pole. Recruiting Ready. Gunavera coming up on the outside. Oh, he's got him. Gunavera has won the Saratoga Special. Running down Recruiting Ready. Then it was Tip Tap Tap Bazaar and Sonic Mule. The final time was one minute, 17 seconds flat. He was so far behind early, but he ran him down to the stretch, and Javier Castellanos on a roll today. And they're off in the Delta Downs jackpot. Line Judge got a great break on the inside. Day Boy's Echo is showing some speed from the outside. Tip Tap Tapazar is up close to him. Also there is Malandine running right next to Hot Shaw as they step onto the main track. R Storm and Norman now moves forward as they've left the chute. It's R Storm and Norman on the inside. Hot Shaw racing in second. Day Boy's Echo third. Tip Tap Tapazar to the outside. A very close fourth. From there, it's Balandine being followed by First for Life. Line Judge has dropped back in the field. Then comes Dangerfield. Pat on the back is second last. And your early trailer is Gunavera. The opening quarter went in 23-18, and they're racing to the back stretch. It's R. Storm and Norman by just ahead over Hot Shaw, who's reserved in that second spot. Tip Tap Tapazar is on the far outside. Then it's J-Boy's Echo between rivals, and First for Life was down on the inside. The front five separated by only two lengths. Then comes Line Judge. And it's three lengths back from there to pat on the back, being followed by Dangerfield midway up the back stretch. And still at the back here is Gunavera, the half in 47.05. They press on to the far turn. It's R. Storm and Norman on the inside. Hot Sean is just off the rail. Down along the inside here is Ballandine, who's crying out for racing room. Tip tap, Tapazar is up close. They're starting to bend for home. A big move coming from the back now from Gunavera. Three quarters went in 112.52. Hot 
Sean is starting to take off, giving out his R Storm and Norman. But here is Gunavera on the far outside to engage for the lead. It's Gunavera and Castellano striking the front in the stretch. On the inside, Hot Sean cannot fight back anymore. Ducking in is Gunavera, but Gunavera is going to score a huge win in the Delta Downs jackpot. Hot Sean ran second, Dangerfield was third, J Boys Echo checked in for. And they're off in the Express Bet Fountain of Youth Stakes. It was a great beginning for three rules who's heading off for the early lead. Irish War Cry moves with him in the early stages. Tackable is four wide. Three wide is Major Look. From behind the speed race, Keeney Antos and looking for eight. Practical Joke had to tap on the brakes pretty badly there. A stretch of another two lengths back to Hard Logistics. Then at the inside, second last is Hurricane Americo. And Gunavera drops back to trail the field, tenth and last, as they round the first turn. Up front, the leader is three rules. Joel Rosario keeps the Holy Bull winner in the clear here with Irish War Cry in second. Racing from third, it's Major Look. Tackable is now ducked to the inside for Paco Lopez. A bit keen fourth. Stretch of another five, but looking for eight. Then comes Practical Joke. Down at the inside, Kimientos. Gunavera moves up two spots. Second last, Talk Logistics. And Hurricane Americo, the Peruvian, is last of all through an opening half mile in 47 seconds flat. Three rules, pumps the margin to a length and a quarter. Irish War Cry is in no hurry yet, he's racing second. Tactical at the inside, third major look has fallen off the mark, fourth. Here's Practical Joke moving sharply. Practical Joke giving the green light, he's into fourth. He's four lengths off the lead and he's closing ground and he's doing it right now. Practical Joke after the leader, three rules. Irish War Cry all in, not responding. The jackpot winner, Gunavera, is in full stride for Javier Castellano as they race to the top of the stretch in the Fountain of Youth. And there goes Practical Joke to confront three rules on the top end, but Gunavera looms large off the speed as they turn for home with a short stretch to work with. With the lead, it's Practical Joke, but Gunavera over the top is on to the front now. Three rules, battles on gamely, these three well clear of the others, but it will be Gunavera and Javier Castellano moving clear. Gunavera for local trainer Antonio Sano, romps in the fountain of youth. Practical Joke second, three rules third, fourth, talk logistics in 144 and one. Arecife gets the first call, front loaded has speed from the inside, but off the tap on the brakes as Jackie Jose Alvarez and Arecife have crossed over to lead the way. Front loaded and very tight, he comes off heels to try to get into the two path. Third is Manolete, out wide on the course is uh, Gunavera and Prince Tito as it between horses as they round the first turn. Not much pace on here, separated by two and a half lengths as Arecife takes hold now and leads it a half a length. On the outside, front loaded is second, Manolete is third, Prince Tito is fourth, and Edgar Zayas drops Canavera over to the rail to save ground into the backstretch run. He's last of all in two and a half lengths behind after an opening quarter in just 25 and four. Can't get much slower than that. Arecife has the tactical advantage over front loaded. Now Gunavera's put into the three path. He's gonna move up into the clear on the outside, trying to quicken up the cadence without using too much energy in the process as he went 50 and four for the opening half mile. This is a first finish line race, so they race to the final half mile with Arecife in front. Prince Tito is three wide, front loaded between horses. Four wide is Gunavera, and Manolete is last of all as they round the far turn. Up for the lead now, Prince Tito on the outside, the Fountain of Youth winner, Gunavera, on a roll, and now he takes the lead. Prince Tito is back to second, front loaded is an all-in third. Manolete is now past Arecife, who plummets to the back with less than a quarter of a mile to go. Gunavera, Zayas takes a peek over both shoulders, and he sees he has no competition. Off the top of the turn, it's Gunavera by four. Front loaded is second on the outside, and Manolete for a minor award, but he's stepping stone to a bigger and better race. Here's Gunavera, an easy winner. Zayas takes hold of the big horse. He wraps him up, and he won the Tangelo by four. Front loaded second. Manolete third, Prince Tito fourth. 